the next chapter of resilience is really resilience as a service. And to speak more about this, please welcome on board Julie O'Brien, a fellow Newton who I've actually learned a lot from. Julie. Thank you. Thank you, Julie, for coming here and uh, really talking about uh, resilience of a new kind. It's automated resilience, disaster recovery as a service. Absolutely. Tell us more as to yeah, what we have sure. in store. So um, what we're going to share with you is the story of simplicity and delight, which we've been hearing a lot this morning. And we're going to take you through what that means in terms of disaster recovery with Nutanix Xyleap. And so I actually have a awesome. demo that I'm going to step through. Oh, okay. really? I do. Oh, you yeah. have a demo. Uh, yeah, I'm going Julie, to. Julie, you're in marketing. I, I know, I am in marketing. That, okay, great. <laughs> well, it but must be simple. I mean, you are a, when I look at you, I'm like, uh, you're like a CIO. You know, you have uh, a pretty big budget, more than $100 million. You have. Could be bigger. Uh, bigger, could be bigger. Could be bigger. I know, it could be bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Always bigger. <laughs> but less is more is what I say, actually. <laughs> Less is more. Um, and, and you have remote, uh, I mean, employees in um, probably uh, more than 50 countries. Yeah, all over the world. Uh, you're tech savvy. You're not deeply technical. You're not tech geek, savvy. No. Uh, and today you're going to actually prove to us that whatever we do, even in cloud services, how simple they are, how delightful they are, yes. that a CIO could run this too. Yes, awesome. exactly. All right, so Thank let's you. take a look. So um, you can see here, uh, I'm in Prism Central which is our single pane of glass that allows you to manage all of your clusters. And in honor of our closing keynote speaker, Kit Harrington from the smash hit Game of Thrones, you can see that I've aptly named this primary site King's Landing. So, so you were in Prism Central? And yes. You know? Okay. I'm in Prism Central. And then what I'd like to do is I want to take a look at this specific cluster. So I'm going to go ahead and launch Prism Element. So you're going from? Uh, one of these atoms or, or going from the control plane of Prism Central down to these atoms, one of these atoms. Prism exactly. Element. Prism Element runs on the data plane, which is individual clusters. Mm -hmm. And Prism Central is the prism of all prisms. The prism of all prisms. Great. Great. Awesome. Okay. okay, so we're in Prism Element. And what I wanted to do here is just point out two things. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, we're running the Nutanix hypervisor, AHV, which we've been speaking about a bit this morning. So AHV just comes integrated in our own software stack, no additional licensing. Uh, as Ben mentioned, it's now running on approximately 50% uh, 50 of all Nutanix nodes. Um, but of course, in the spirit of freedom of choice, if you did want to run uh, ESXi, you'd have that option as well. Great. And then I also wanted to point out the platform that we're running on here. So um, you can see the model that we have is GCP, so Google Cloud Platform. So really? we are running AHV on GCP as easy as ABC. I couldn't resist. Wow. So <laughs> tell us what it means. I think this is very interesting, the fact that we're running a cloud inside a cloud. You know, we probably have one GCP node, and we're running this environment inside a GCP node with a cluster of Nutanix. Mm -hmm. This is like inception. It's like you know, you're know you dreaming <laughs> inside a dream or something like that. A dream inside a dream. So is this going to be our primary site? Yes. This is the primary site from where you will start to figure out what DR means from here? Yes, exactly. Okay, great. So let's, let's go ahead and drill in. OK, so I'm going to go back over to Prism Central. And what I want to start off first um, through the dashboard is just show you the VMs that we have running here. So we have five VMs running, and three of them are managing our top secret files. So no matter what happens over the course of the next few minutes, it's really important that these files stay safe uh, in the event of any kind of disaster, which may The happen. demo will work, right? You're just saying no matter what happens. <laughs> no matter what happens. <laughs> OK, so let's go back out to the dashboard. And you can see here that I have categories, I have images, I have policies that are all been replicated from our primary site to our secondary site, really for a true hybrid cloud experience. And what I'd like to do is just spend a little time with protection policies and our recovery plans. Mm -hmm. So think of protection policies as sort of your SLA for business continuity. And one of the things that I'm really excited about here to share with you today is that in our release that's currently in development, we've taken RPO times from hours to just one minute. And this is a huge engineering effort by the Xyleap team. And I just want to say it is five times better than anything in the industry right now. Beautiful. So you're saying that. <laughs> Thank you. 
that you can now make resilience within a minute over the internet, where your primary site could be running on one side and the disaster recovery site is somewhere That's else, right. within a minute. Near synchronous replication. Awesome. It is awesome. OK, so let's go ahead and take a look at our recovery plans. And think of your recovery plan as basically all the rules that you're going to use to bring your application up after a failover. And what I wanted to do here is just show you a couple of things in our recovery plan. I can take a look at our power on sequence. And this is for the rules in terms of how our VMs will power up after a failover. Um, and we've also added here in our release under development the ability to add scripting, which I know is really important for a lot of customers. They want to be able to have that capability. So it's more like a custom business logic that you want to add to your orchestration. Exactly. Couldn't have said it better. All right, and in network settings, I just wanted to show you here um, one thing to take note of, because you want to remember this later in the demo. But we're going to assign a floating IP address to our application. So this allows us to bring the application back up using a public internet address post failover. So take note of this dot 118. OK? Yeah. All right, so f from this point, we, from this uh, particular point, we've been taking a look primarily at our primary site, King's Landing. I'd like to go ahead and switch over to Xyleap, if that's OK. OK. All right, and one of the beauties about uh, Prism Central is that it is that single pane of glass for managing everything that you need to do with your clusters. I also can go ahead and directly launch in to Xyleap. So I'm going to go ahead so and This is a true multi-cloud environment. You know, you had uh, one cloud on one side, the other one on the other from the same pane of glass. Exactly. I'm just going to log in with my credentials. All right. So um, what you can see here is that I have the same categories and images and policies, again, that have been replicated from my King's Landing primary site to Xyleap, so that true hybrid cloud experience. You also see that I have some recoverable entities here. And so what I've done is I've assigned these to each of those VMs that I want to protect with those top secret files um, to make sure that these are prioritized. And just to click in and, and show you, um, you can actually see uh, those RPOs that I mentioned. So we're taking snapshots for uh, a minute apart. So I can see that you're too technical for me now. Oh, really? Getting into RPOs and <laughs> such. <laughs> Oh, boy. OK. So <laughs> let's go ahead and drill into our recovery plan. And you can see here that I have a number of different actions that I can take. So I could choose to do an update. I could choose to do a failover. I could run a test. Um, and one of the things that I really uh, appreciate about Nutanix Xyleap is unlike legacy environments, which would have taken you months to figure out, you know, is your test going to work? Is all the configuration correct? And actually see that you can prove out um, that it will be all, all OK after a disaster, is that you could actually run a test with Nutanix Xyleap in just minutes. So we could go off stage, have a cup of coffee, and, and have the peace of mind, that um, invisible insurance policy that we're all Invisible all set. insurance. I love it, actually. Yeah. So this is a true consumer-grade disaster recovery as a service. It is. Now, given that this is uh, a disaster recovery solution, I think it's time for a disaster. What do you think? Should we do a failover? You mean you're going to go and crash Google? I, I, let's do it. Wow. Well, I know. OK. It's crazy. And it's not even uh, 10 o'clock yet. OK. So I'm going to show you in our availability zones. You can see that King's Landing here is currently reachable, right? Um, and, and that's our primary site. That's our primary site, exactly. AHV on GCP, as easy as ABC. Mm -hmm. OK, so given that this is King's Landing, um, there's all sorts of calamities that could happen, for those of you who are familiar with Game of Thrones. So I think uh, it's only appropriate for us to take down this site using Dragon's Fury. OK. It could happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it could happen. All right, so now if I go back to my availability zone, sadly, King's Landing is no longer reachable. No longer reachable. No wow. longer reachable. And so this is serious. This is really serious. Yeah. Yeah. I'm crossing my fingers now. So we really need to um, go ahead and probably initiate that failover. Uh -huh. Yeah. OK, so I'm going to go in. I'm going to select failover. And um, it's unplanned, because honestly, what could be more unplanned than a dragon taking out your primary Dan, Then Google for failing as well, actually. <laughs> right. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to start our failover. 
And what's happening now, Dirge, is um, there are a number of different steps that are happening in the background, and I, I think of it to be very much like the process of launching a rocket, right? Um, there's a sequence of checks that need to happen uh, in a very specific order to make sure that your launch is successful. And that's actually what's happening in the background right now, so that when you do your one click to initiate a failover, all of that just happens, the complexity is abstracted, uh, and it is truly invisible. So the fact that we are taking all of compute and storage and networking and security, mm -hmm. and in the future, load balancers and a lot of those rules, mm -hmm. how do you really take that as if you're really launching a space shuttle and move to the other side? Actually? It's magical with Nutanix. Magical, wow. Yes. Uh -huh. wow. And, and I guess it's only going to get harder and harder as we get into the world of containers and, you know, as I said, load balancers and things like that, because moving state is hard. Exactly. Really, really hard, actually. And, and so we're not just moving data and applications, but I think you also refer to it as moving networks, networks too, yeah, right? Which is probably one of the hardest things to do in a multi-cloud world is how do you move from an old network to a new network with no need to re-IP? Mm -hmm. There's no need to reconfigure anything. Mm -hmm. That's one of the hardest things that we've done uh, in the business is to move entire networks and replicate them from one side to the other. Exactly. In fact, the other thing which uh, I think you know you do want to talk about here is AHV, the fact that AHV can go to Leap, but how we have made it such that ESX, AHV, and Leap are all together now, mm -hmm. right? They're happy and together. Happy you together, take, all together can, now. You can take a private cloud ESXi and replicate it to Xileap, which is actually running AHV. Mm -hmm. And the fact that ESX can replicate to AHV and back is powerful in many which ways that we're doing. It is very powerful, and I think right? it's really one of the tenets of Nutanix, again, that freedom of choice. So we talked about um, the updates that we've made with RPOs going from hours down to minutes. We talked about adding scripting capabilities for um, how your VMs power back on. We also have um, some other news with Xileap as well. Really? And so, yes. Uh, so we have a number of sites for Xileap already around the world. And um, I'm really excited to announce, uh, again, in an upcoming release, we're going to be introducing locations in both Italy and Germany. Any Italians or Germans in the room? All right. And then um, also in Japan as well. Awesome. So bringing it anywhere and everywhere. You know, and hopefully in the future, we can run the software on hyperscaler data centers too which will make it even simpler for those who already have credits with Amazon or Azure. Exactly. Right? So shall we take a look and see how we're doing with our filler? Yeah, let's okay. see if uh, resilience even works Let, uh, let's see. in service. OK. All right, so looks good so far. Green is good. I'm going to go into my tasks and just show you in the failover um, all of those steps that I was talking about that are sort of behind the scenes that are happening uh, in a very specific sequence to make sure that we're ready. And then um, let's go ahead and take a look and see our VMs are back online. There you go. So all the VMs are good. down on the other side now. All of our VMs Beautiful. are Beautiful. back online. So now is the moment of truth, Deeridge. Yeah. Remember that floating IP address mm -hmm. that I mentioned before? OK. So we're going to go ahead into our secret files. We're going to go into Nix. And we're going to take that floating IP address. And we're going to go ahead and pop it into a browser. <gasps> Yay! There awesome. They are. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> um, Thank you, Julie. So the secrets of the seven kingdoms are safe. They're running in, in Xileap. You've passed your certification for NPP. Uh, awesome. Well, the community guys out there, you know, that's your NPP <laughs> certification. <laughs> Thank you so okay, much, Julie. Wait, 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 there's one more thing. There's one more thing. thing. Yes. One more thing. So um, if you are excited about you, what you saw here today, uh, we've now created an extended 30-day trial experience for Xileap. Uh, you can access it here at Nutanix.com slash Leap uh, next 19. And of course, if you're an existing Nutanix customer, you always have the opportunity to take advantage of any of our test drive experiences in your My Nutanix portal. Awesome. And Thank now, you so much, now Julie. Really, really appreciate it. All right. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Resilience is a service, ladies and gentlemen. You know, how do you really make DR consumer grade and just one click simple? That's what we actually did. We failed over an entire site from uh, one hosted inside GCP to one hosted in a, one of our data centers uh, and coming to a data center uh, close to you, uh, both in Germany and, uh, and Italy very, very soon.